You should all know by now that when the media and authority scumbags try to lay fear in our hearts, then something is terribly wrong. And this is exactly what's happening now, considering the Islamic Jihad of the new ISIS group. Whereas we should be more afraid for our children with the Zurich Gay Pride being held in Switzerland, the motherland of all evil, this weekend, right after the Templars, Friday the 13th of June 2014. And as we know, those Templar boys were as queer as a broomstick too. So you see that the date has been carefully chosen with that of sodomy conveniently converging with those other boys of sodomy's holy date of Friday the 13th. There are far more bigger dangers such as Fukushima's radioactivity hitting the US west coast or the dying of the bees because of our cell phone addiction than some Arabs in the sand with some BDWs. BDWs, that's the uh, army slang for a personal defense weapon. Whom can be easily dealt with by a few Apache runs with miniguns taking out the first and last car first of that line of cars in order to block and trap them and then slowly picking out the rest in between and terminate them in an easy afternoon. Go on, these easy ISIS guys don't even have the material the Germans had in the First World War and whose biggest weapon is supposed to be some invisible entity up in the skies who never shows up anyway. I mean, this is not a military threat, this is just a civilian threat. But far from being a military threat, this is nothing. And for those who don't want to believe the lies of the media anymore, our masters of Octogon have an alternative version ready to fill in the gaps by Swiss sleeper agents like this guy here, who never criticizes the motherland and other, conf and other confederacy. Not even when the Nazi banks steal trillions of US dollars and who pleaded guilty of conspiracy against the USA in front of a US court of justice. And this so-called conspiracy theorist doesn't seem bothered at all by hearing proofs of that very word, conspiracy. Apparently, when the globalists, the globalists, the globalists are from the Confederacy in the Alps, then it's time to silence up for the Confederates and their main spokesman. Well, here's the Swiss cross, you see, and the, uh, the KKK. Criminals are cowards. They want you disarmed. And Obama is a criminal. The globalists are criminals. They've disarmed everybody else but the Swiss and us. So there's the date. It was June the 11th, 2014. He likes octagon. This is a fifth column. And Alex Jones's pillmaker is a Freemason of the ancient Kappa Sigma Lodge from Italy's Middle Ages, sending me this letter here, saying that it was Alex's idea to put the Swiss flag on his bottles. Yeah, so there's the website here, Doctor Group. Well, here it says Kappa Sigma fraternity member. There it is. Freemason. Well, there it is. Kappa Sigma Freemasons. Here's their their logo. Five stars here. The half moon, the crescent moon of the um, of the Shriners. Some Egyptian stuff here. This is Ma'at, the wings of Ma'at. Uh, typically, yeah. So you can read all about it. I'll put in the links, of course. So this is the uh, Alex Jones's pill maker, the Mason. Look here, the skull of death, and some swords here, and I don't know what. The star and the crescent. Well, so. This is Dr. Group, with whom 
Mr. Jones is affiliated. Well, I know enough when I see this. And this is what they wrote back on my uh, on my question. Um, it's Alex Jones version and private label with the Swiss flag. I'm not sure why he uses that. It's by no means a choice we suggested or made for him. Our version of this product can be found here. So they don't have it on it. So, um, well, I suppose this guy he doesn't, doesn't know. He's just working there. He's not initiated. First, our masters make us sick. And then they themselves come with the solution to make us dependent on them. Just as Monsanto wants so we can only buy their seeds. Dr. Edward Group and Alex Jones' is Freemason pill maker is ex-military. Well, charming setup, isn't it? And not many people know that the main symbol of the Masons is a direct reference to where they come from and their pharaonic origins. As the compass has a 60 degrees angle for the pyramid sides and the square a 90 degrees angle for the pyramid square base. With this you can draw a pyramid. No real Muslim would give that name Isis as Isis refers to the pharaohs who are the evil ones in the Quran just as they are in the Bible. No jihadist would identify himself with Isis and the pharaohs and the name is an invention of the media of those pharaonic Gulf oil barons of Saudi Arabia and Arab Emirates as Dubai, Qatar and Kuwait. We even have shopping malls with pyramids and obelisks as you can see here in Dubai. Who chose the name Isis because of the Horus Matrix, because the whore of Babylon hates the Muslim patriarchy and she wants to rule together with Seth or Sethon, in short, in short, Isis and Sethon or Satan decided to murder her husband Osiris being pregnant with his child Horus in order to reshape man not in the image of God but as her obedient stupid servant and therefore the boy had to be circumcised as an alliance with Sethon the devil to mutilate the body and God's creation. Funny enough, Muslims are forbidden to tattoo themselves as a tattoo transforms the body and God's creation. So apparently these are the backs of some uh, Isis fighters with the, with the pyramid and the, the unk of life on their, on their backs. So these can't be Muslims. A Muslim wouldn't put these pharaonic tattoos and he wouldn't put a tattoo at all at his body. Well, they look pretty dead here. So it's all a hoax, you know, it's, it's another false flag for the Horus Matrix. Muslims traditionally only trust family members and the tribe, as their entire society is full of deception, lies and corruption, which are sins within the Christian culture. But therefore, no Muslim trusts the government, as they are used to the lies of 1001 Nights, and they would never massively go to war for the Horus Matrix and die for king and country, which those stupid whiteys massively did in two world wars. And therefore, to execute the Horus Matrix for the New World Order and total control over a stupid, all-believing mankind and farmed race, another solution had to be found for Muslims, who accept only one authority, and are very superstitious, but still in the name of Isis, as in Islamic State of Iraq and Sham. And Sham is the Ar Arabic name for Syria, probably referring to Sam as in Semites. And with Isis, her goal of killing patriarchy, similar to what has happened in the West by using the Horus Matrix, the never-ending story of divide and rule had to be inserted by using false flags by octagon templars as the SAS dressed up as Sunni, Sunni Muslims doing massacres on Shia Muslims and Alavis or, or Alevites and vice versa, the other way around, to create a civil war, man killing man for Isis and her sisters, installing the reign of Sethon. 
just as during the Thirty Year War between Protestants and Catholics and Octogon's mercenaries murdering and replacing the Germans for Pharaoh's motherland in the Alps called Sœur d'Isis, uh, Schwitz, Schwester de Isis, Schwitz, or Switzerland, the Sisters of Isis. Here you can see some, some other false flag agents here. Dressing up as Muslims, killing, you know, to, to have this civil war going on of the SAS. Well, they're probably um, Swiss mercenaries or the descendants of the Swiss mercenaries. And, uh, well, you can read, I, I'll put it in the link for you. This is what they're doing. And we could already see how Muslims are hard to kill in the Horus Matrix when in the first Gulf War they all surrendered with their hands in the air and the second Gulf War all deserted, vanished, vanished and hid. Where those stupid all-believing whiteys would have held positions and would have all died in the Horus Matrix as I explained in my video filmed at the US Cemetery of Omaha Beach or should we say Omaha Bitch? The Isis bitch and whore of Babylon with a statue holding Horus the falcon god and the Omaha graveyard itself symbolizing her victory over the patriarchy. So my dear Muslim brothers, don't kill each other in this new world order, Saudi king Abdullah, Shia Sunni war. This was also one of the very reasons for murdering the Jews in the war as most of them refused to carry arms and serve in the military as their religion forbids killing. The sisters of Isis from Octogon couldn't crush the Hebrew, Hebrew patriarchy through the Horus Matrix, so they had to find another solution, the final solution. And even today, the Orthodox refused to serve in the Israeli army, just as the rabbis promised the Jews that God would protect them against Hitler. So no Jew defended themselves, and they just prayed in vain. So this is why Israel became a secular state that acts first and then prays instead of the other way around. And just as this time Isis had it well prepared and camouflaged, even having camp inmates to send postcards back home of how good camp life was, so no one resisted transportation. And this code of silence and sly deception mode is so typically Swiss, where the sisters of Isis are no females but she-males who had the good women of Europe burn at the stakes by the Pope's Swiss guard because these good women refused their men to die in the Horus Matrix, which in fact happened later on. And just as Hitler's Mein Kampf prepared the people's minds for their coming actions, a Swiss book called the Maleus Maleficarum, or Witch's Hammer, laid the foundations of the massacres to come and the killing of the good women of Europe. And similar, the witches later on were the Jews, and now the witches are the Muslims. Come on, wake up, folks. Mein Kampf was written by the Swiss, who also finance him just as the as the manual of witch killing was a Swiss book by Heinrich Kramer and Jacobus Springer. So now Isis, the shemale Omaha bitch, wants to wipe out the pre-Islam patriarchy of those tribal desert communi communities by having those who believe in the Prophet's companies Companions, also called Sunni, fight those who believe in Muhammad's bloodline, also called Shia and Alawite. Notice that even Prince Charles is related to the Muslim prophet by one of his descendants having offspring with the Spanish Per A, or Royal House of Aragon and Castilla, who later mix with the Windsor, better known as Windsor, as the, uh, the word Sar, it means the king in the Pharaonic language. Just as in a sarcophagus, which is a box to put the king in when he's dead. Well, watch the Pharaoh show, it's all in there. 
So Winsar, it actually means Winsar. As in Sar, the king of Rome. It also means Son Altes Royal, his, high royna, his, his royal highness. And the Tsars, it's all Pharaonic. So here, it says here, a connection from Mohammed entering the British line through Infanta Isabella of Castilla has endorsed, well, so that they are in Sevilla, Sevilla, Sevilla. They are, they're, they're, they're all connected, they're all in the same bloodline. The, uh, the prophet of the Muslims together with the, uh, with, with the European aristocracy. And we, and we have to fight for that. Oh, Wikipedia, royal intermarriage. Well, look at this one here. Just punch pause. There's an interesting one here. How they mix with the Muslim world. Al-Andalus. From the time of the Umayyad conquest of uh, Hispania, that's Spain, and throughout the Reconquista, Spanish royals married Muslim Umayyad princesses to seal trade treaties between Christian kings and Muslim caliphs. Through these marriages, such as that of Alfonso the, the Sixth of Leon and Castilla, it is believed that most European royalty can trace their ancestry back to the family of the Prophet Muhammad. Through his, this remains, though this remains controversial. It's, a, they're all real, it's all one satanic bloodline it is. They are the pharaohs. And we have to die for it in the next war coming up. Or well, forget it. In breeding. They are our masters. They're all the same. We're all brainwashed by all these books. And it is the Horus Matrix, the Omaha bitch, and the she males having an alliance with Sethon or Satan. And the Royal Mint of uh, England or Great Britain, of that very same fair aristocracy, are preparing the ISIS coins for us in conjunction with the ISIS Jihad. All in the name of that Omaha bitch and her shemales. It's, the, the proofs are overwhelming, folks. It's overwhelming. It's, it's all right in our faces. Just as the... Uh, all the uh, the pop star showing it, they they just have to show it, like the the horned hand and the the satanic ritual and and the all seeing eye. <laughs> it's the same. And everything what's happening in the Middle East, Asia and Africa, has already occurred with the peoples of Europe, the genocide on the Celts and the Horus Matrix on the Germanic and Slavic tribes. And history repeats itself, as history gets made by the same repeated conception of the Isis, Octagon, and the Horus Matrix behind. Similar to the Russians exfilling Afghanistan and creating a civil war afterwards by the Taliban, when the Americans pulled out of Iraq, the gap leaves a civil war by the Isis, or when the Romans pulled out of Europe, five centuries of Dark Ages followed. These are the tacti tactics of Sethon, for which I'm here to teach you.